tell me a little bit more about the smoke detector for noise. <laughs> and then how did you get that name too? Because I love yeah. it. It helps me to explain it at least. Yeah. Well, uh, pro tip for anybody with a, a startup, nobody wants the like technical jargon, you know, the Uber of, the this of that is, is actually a great way to explain stuff. So here I was at a conference telling somebody, you know, it's a decibel meter with smart home, you know, <laughs> analytics and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, they're like, whoa, you, you lost me. And then I tell them what it does, you know, plain English. They're like, you mean like a smoke detector for noise? And I'm like, it's funny. I mean, uh, ultimately, you know, they say sometimes simpler is better. Mm -hmm. And the concept and the need and the whole idea for noise aware was a, not even like a large back of the napkin. It was a small napkin mm -hmm. and it needed to do three things. Number one, it had to be privacy safe because mm -hmm. You know, it'd be a great idea to put a baby monitor or a uh, camera or whatever in, a, in an apartment or a home. It's just not appropriate yeah. in the short-term rental environment and, and don't need to go into that anymore. So privacy was number one. Number two is I did not want another damn notification from something happening that was irrelevant to my day or yeah. my, my property. Relevant, meaningful notifications only hopefully we do that for our customers. I think we do a great job. Um, and then lastly, just instant, right? So I didn't need a report two days later that it was loud on Friday. I need to know when I need to know. That's kind of the smoke detector concept. Yeah. Um, so it's just, if it's too loud for too long, you get a notification. If you can't do that, then we're failing at our job. And I think we've gotten quite good at that. When I first got it, and purchased it for one of our properties. I think that the thing that was the nicest is that it alerts the guest, and 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 you can you can do that in so many different ways. Like, how did you get into that idea? Yeah, so I think what you're talking about is we we have a response center that can take the alert and then automatically on your behalf yep. do the whole resolution cycle uh, using your language and your you know however you would want us to but it gives you peace of mind. Noise aware was not always noise aware. It started off life as sigh. And so sigh as in sigh of relief. Okay. Just so happened at the same time that sigh, the Korean K-pop Gangnam style guy, like yeah, yeah, this guy yeah. Oh, yeah. came out at the same time. So uh -huh. I'm maybe telling people, yeah, the company is called Sai. And they're like, why'd you name it after a Korean pop star? Right, 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 and like, right. oh, damn it. Like sigh of relief. Yeah. So we had, we had to do that with Jay, Jay Z. <laughs> Ultimately, it's about peace of mind. Uh, not just peace of mind for you, the manager, but the guest is unfamiliar with the property. They're unfamiliar with the neighbors. If you tell them appropriately, which you always should do, hey, we have noise aware or decibel monitoring system to ensure that if it does get too loud at this property, we can help resolve it with you before the neighbors, police, whomever get involved neighbor relations matter people you know what i mean like it's peace of mind for you for your neighbors for your guests and then lastly you know local enforcement they don't want to deal with this shit at the end of the day like these are solvable problems i'll tell you i'll tell you one just very quick story of like what the the very uh first reason why i purchased noiseware we were trying to solve an, a problem of a neighbor that was right next door to us that was constantly complaining that there was noise and my team like genuinely cares so we were over there trying to meet with the neighbor trying to figure out what's going on and then we checked the calendar and nobody's even staying there we're mm -hmm. like how do we solve this issue when there's not actually somebody even there how could it be that noisy and we were looking at we were looking at our guest reservation data yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we saw like two, a couple staying there, maybe with two kids. And we're like, yeah. how could it really be that noisy? And right after we put the equipment in, we went over and we sent her a card and told the neighbor what we were doing and that we respected her that much that we invested into this technology that, you know, explained the system. And um, we never heard from her again. There is so much peace of mind, to your point, because kind of the definition of anxiety is the unknown. So when you know what's going on at your property, yeah. it gives you peace. That's a great, I've never heard it put that way, but when you, when you think about it, the difference to provide hospitality to people who are unfamiliar with the property, mm -hmm. there's a great deal of trust and just like, here are the keys. You have any questions, call me. 
if you can stay aware of the property without actually interfering with the people's, mm-hmm. you know, enjoyable stay or the neighbor's enjoy yeah. enjoyment, beautiful. It, it helps us when we are um, trying to go and explain to an owner the different systems and how to lean on and leverage technology to where yeah. you don't have to worry. Yeah. And I remember when Mardi Gras rolled around in February, um, we like rushed to get a noise wear equipment yeah. there and cameras up. Yeah. And so we got point central exterior cameras and noise wear. So if it alerted me and went off, you can, then yeah. I'm looking right at the cameras and then feeling like, okay, yeah, <laughs> and there's no parties going on. Yeah. It may have just gotten a little bit loud for 10 yeah. minutes and then yeah. it's resolved.